Today we're going to talk about how to safely unload cattle and specifically bulls and also a little bit about how to buy those animals and where you might be able to look to find them, how you can make contacts uh, and find really great people that uh, are dealing with these animals every day. So let's just jump into it. So they're coming today and I have not prepared for that. So. Quick summary, we don't really have a way to have our animals come and go right now because we're kind of in a state where we weren't going to be processing an animal anytime soon, we weren't going to be getting any more. So this corridor behind me uh, is where he's going to have to back the trailer up. He's probably going to back up to where this fence turns straight. You'll see an electric fence over here. They're going to have to go in there. So the issue with this area is that our garden is right there. So I'm gonna have to create a barrier that keeps them in this corridor. Let's get started. If you like this kind of content and you want to learn more about producing your own food, join the revolution and subscribe to the channel. I'll be producing more content like this regularly, so stick around. Okay, the work's done. Let's have a look at how it turned out. See if these bulls will actually stay where they need to stay. You can see it there. We'll kind of walk down it and I'll show you the vision. So this took about 30 minutes, not too bad. And uh, we're ready for our new friends to join us. So basically I just pounded some T-posts. It took four T-posts and three cattle panels is what I call them. Uh, they're just 16 foot panels. I think it's uh, four inch by six inch gaps here. I'll show you that. So really, um, usually cattle just take the path of least resistance. So it just needs to be a strong suggestion on where they need to go. And they should just walk right down this little hallway that I built here. My assumption is that these bulls are going to have their horns still, so they shouldn't be able to fit through that space. It's about two feet on each side, and they should be a little bit wider than that. When they get here, we'll open up the electric gate using these uh, hooks here, and they should walk right in. some beauties in there. You get your camera? Yeah, I got it set up right here. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Gotta tuck my shirt in. <laughs> Look real nice. My son, my son said, what YouTube channel does he have, Dad? Oh, yeah? But I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> I'm gonna assume these are pretty gentle, right? Yeah, getting off the trailer, they'll be excited, but. The sandy one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm suddenly feeling very vulnerable. I <laughs> like, hey, what the, what's the back? <laughs> there they go. We had him all alone for, I don't know, maybe a month or something. All right, Eric threw me a deal on a third, a beast of a bull. So we're gonna, we're gonna offload him and we'll have a herd of five. Look at how big this guy is. Hey, go up and smack his butt real quick. Hurry. Yes. Smack it. Get him. Yeah, you got me with this horn, dude. Yeah. Braver than I am. <laughs> Checking each other out. So we found Eric on Facebook, actually. We just searched. We had found uh, Scottish Highlands as a breed that we wanted to explore and searched on Facebook, found him, got his contact information, and just love the guy, he's a great guy. He just texted me and said, hey, do you, do you need any animals? And so I hope that if you're watching this and you're hoping to get into cattle, that you can find someone uh, like Eric that'll, that'll kind of support you and walk you through things. He also, the first time he came out here, he spent probably an hour just out here answering my questions, which isn't something that 
uh, I would have ever expected him to do, but he's he was happy to do it. So hopefully you can find someone like that if you're looking to get into this sort of thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.